What's up everybody, this is Furious Francis over here from PlayerEssence.com and I have a topic that I want to discuss. It's actually a video response to one of my Player Essence partners, Nintendo, and his video on confused retailers or Nintendo's negligence, who's to blame. And in short, the video was about basically somebody who did some research, they went around to different retailers and questioned them on the difference between a Wii and a Wii U, asked them what is the difference, and basically many of them said that there is no difference or they don't know the difference basically, and she concluded or he concluded that they are losing sales, Nintendo is losing sales because of this confusion, which I can't necessarily deny or say that that's not happening. There definitely seems to be some confusion, but whether who's to blame, that's the video that Nintendo did. And he basically said that it's it's partly Nintendo's fault and it's also the retailer's fault for having people to work that work in those departments that don't know what they're talking about. But I'm gonna kind of go against the grain here and I agree with Nintendo to a degree, but at the same time, I think that it's 100% Nintendo's fault because I feel that Nintendo made a couple of grave mistakes that they would take back in a heartbeat if they could. The first grave mistake that they made was trusting third parties, thinking that if Nintendo, Nintendo thought that if they brought out third parties and got a bunch of, tried to get a bunch of ports on their system, that third parties would actually help with their advertising and in their games actually include the Wii U version in any sort of advertising that they do. And that was not the case. We, um, a lot of third party developers started dropping the Wii U as soon as the sales you know, started um, dipping. And you can tell that Nintendo tried to get third party support. They thought they were going to have you know, Bioshock Infinite. Why have Ken Levine come to your E3 or, you know, videotape him if you didn't think his game was going to be on the system? They also had, like, Deus Ex Human Revolution, Director's Cut, you know, that was delayed. Rayman Legends was supposed to be a launch title. We all know about what happened to that game. So Nintendo was banking on third parties to actually help and, you know, push the system as well, like they do with the PS3 and Xbox 360, and that just did not happen. Nintendo needs to make sure that they have their software out. With the Wii, they had Wii Sports, and basically if someone didn't know, they knew of that game, and you can just go to the store, and even if you had an idiot working there, because you're always going to have idiots working that don't know what a, a Wii U is, or don't know the difference between them, you have a piece of software that basically says, this is what I get when I buy this system, and Nintendo Land wasn't that piece of software that can break past idiots who work at an electronics store that are only working in that department because they have an HD TV at home and don't know anything about video games. I went to a department store and, re and I was looking for Resident Evil Revelations and the person working there, they, she said, you, you know, she asked me what that was on. She, she asked me if that was on the GameCube and PS2. Resident Evil Revelations, this was a brand new game. So you're always going to have idiots working at a store or people who don't know what they're talking about or don't know things. And look, you have to have software that breaks past that and Nintendo didn't do that. So I'm 100% blaming Nintendo for two things. One, for not having a piece of software that actually showed that, hey, this is the Wii U, this is a new system, this is, you know, blah, 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 Just come get it, like they did with Wii Sports. And two, trusting third parties to actually put out quality stuff on their system, you know, and put out games that rivaled PS3 and 360 games and actually up them in graphics and features and things like that. Instead, we're getting, you know, a new IP like Zombie U, which is a nice effort, but come on, one melee weapon, you can't sit here and tell me that that's the same amount of effort that went into like Far Cry 3 or Assassin's Creed or even Splinter Cell. So come on, they've got to come stronger than that. Now, that's who I'm blaming. And I'm not blaming the third parties for not doing that. I'm blaming Nintendo for actually having faith in them. Nintendo needs to have their games ready. Now, another part that Nintendo wanted to talk about as far as what he talked about on there is the marketing with the Wii U. And he's like, why is Nintendo marketing? Which a lot here, a lot of people say that. RMC from Go Nintendo. Lots of people say Nintendo's not marketing. Nintendo's not marketing. Don't you guys think that Nintendo knows that they don't have enough marketing for Wii U? I mean, seriously, they, don't you guys think that Nintendo knows that? They know. They are being frugal with their money. Marketing costs a lot. Microsoft and Sony are spending literally millions on marketing for primetime ESPN commercials, and Nintendo's just not going to do that. They don't have the corporate overhead that those two companies have, and they're not willing to take those amount of losses because Sony and Microsoft will be taking massive losses in their you know their year wrap up next year. When you see it, trust me, they're going to be massive. It's going to be R and D and marketing. It's going to be huge, and Nintendo is not. They already took that hit. They already took that hit last year. There is no way they're going to be putting out commercials like that, especially when they're spending a ton of commercials on the Nintendo 2DS, or they're spending a ton of money on commercials on the Nintendo 2DS and on the 3DS software, the live action commercials for Pokemon. 
Nintendo's going to be a lot more frugal. They're going to wait till it's around the time that their software that they have that they can market and put it out there. Now, they are spending some on some commercials. A lot of you guys don't see it because you guys don't watch uh, Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network. I watch that because I have a one and a half year old. So I watch that and there is a Just Dance commercial for Wii U. I think there's Scribblenauts Unlimited, Pikmin 3, you know, but there's a ton of 2DS and 3DS stuff on there for those games. And trust me, the marketing is going to come around, but Nintendo just that they have the money, but they're they're not willing to spend that type of money to put to heavily push both systems. Just like Sony is not willing to spend the money to heavily push the Vita right now. They'll get around to it at some point, but they're gonna take care of what they feel is going to be the bigger advantage to them. And for, with Nintendo right now, the the 3DS has all of the games they ha it has everything now in november that might be a different case with the marketing you're probably going to see a little bit more commercials will they be on espn and spike and mtv i'm not sure if they will be but you're probably going to see more commercials more widespread especially with super mario 3d world and maybe even Wii sports club mario and sonic as well so we should see that later as well so that's my take on the whole marketing thing everybody just needs to chill out they're pushing the 2ds you know it basically comes down to they're being frugal with their money and they're not going to sit here and spend millions of dollars on 2DS and 3DS marketing and Pokemon X and Y live action commercials and also spend that same amount on Wii U commercials on ESPN and all that. No, they're not going to do that. They're going to wait till they have more software like Super Mario 3D World to really do a marketing push and to where they can get those sales of the 3DS, have those sales wrapped up, then move on to Wii U. That's what's going to happen. Trust me. All right. So I basically wrapped it up here. Make sure you check out Nintendo's channel. It's a very good channel. Make sure you subscribe to him. He does all sorts of cool videos. You can definitely check that out. He's actually nearing a thousand, so make sure you subscribe to him. Also, make sure you check out PlayerEssence.com for all your news, reviews, trailers, tips, and tricks. Got plenty of stuff going up this week. Player Essence Cross Nintendo. My Pokemon X and Y review will be on my new PE reviews channel. That will be in the link below. Um, and all sorts of stuff this weekend. All right. Once again, I'm Furious Francis. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.